you will be asked to do electron configurations for atoms and some of their ions. Alright, here's how it goes. It's like a short form version of doing this quantum number stuff, and it's really quite elegant. Electron configurations. Hydrogen. Well, where's hydrogen? It's only one electron, so where's it found? At n equals 1. So, we put a 1 in front for the n equals part. And what is that 0 L, um, that L equals 0 designation? That's the s orbital. So we put an s. So it's in the 1s orbital. And how many electrons are there? 1. So we go 1s, 1. And that's the electron configuration for hydrogen. So what's helium? Because helium is element number 2. So it's going to be 1 s, and how many electrons can you have in that s orbital? 2, 1s2. Easy. Okay, remember lithium? That's going to be 1s, both filled, electrons filled in that s orbital, 1s2, but it's going to have now the next electron in the 2s, and how many electrons left? Lithium is element number 3 on the periodic table, so we're going to put in one more electron, 2 and 1, so it's 2s1, 1s2, 2s1, 1s2, 2s1. Hey! Hydrogen was a 1s1, and lithium's a 2s1. <laughs> periodic table. This is so beautiful. If you want to figure out how to do an electron configuration for an element, understand this. That s, s. Outermost electrons are two are, are S1s, S1s for lithium and hydrogen, which are both located in group one of the periodic table, one underneath the other. So what would sodium be down here? Well actually sodium is it's eleven electrons, and we've done that one already. And remember, sodium, one s two, two s. Do you remember how many could go in the two s? Do you remember that that total was that it was going to be two electrons at the two zero zero plus one half and the two zero zero minus one half, two s two. But then, what's the next electron? Well, okay, now wait a minute. Weren't there? Then you could go two for the principal quantum number, and then one after you went from zero. L could equal one, and that's the p orbital, which there are three suborbitals. Each could hold two electrons for a total of six, and so. That's 2p6, then 3s1. And that's what sodium is. But look, 3s1, 2s1, 1s1, 3s1, 2s1, sodium is here on the periodic table, 1s1. What's going on? This is great. This blue block right here in the periodic table, which is the alkali metals and the alkali earth metals, that's your s block. See this green block right over here on this periodic table? This is your P block. P's have how many maximum electrons? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six columns going down. Oh, this is cool. Hang on. Do you remember the D's? At N equals three, you're allowed to have L equal two, which had five suborbitals in it. That means that they, those five suborbitals could hold ten electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in this yellow section here called the D block. Oh man. Where are the F's when you get to N equals four and L equals three, which, which the three is actually an F? F has fourteen, seven suborbitals for fourteen electrons. Down here. Take these guys here, they're there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, it's 14 because lanthanum and actinium should be actually back up here. There's 14 down there. Okay, listen, the periodic table is absolutely fabulously construction, constructed. Well done, Mendelia. Because what you did, buddy, was you arranged everything in terms of these orbitals that we found out 50 to 60 to 70 years later after you had expired. Oh man, did you ever do a great job of putting together this periodic table? Here's the deal for putting together electron configurations. Oxygen. Oxygen is right here on the periodic table, element number eight. Let's get to oxygen by consecutively filling these electrons. Watch. One, S2 going across. 
this is the 2s block right here, because this is 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s. So it's 2s2. Oxygen's over here in the p block, in the second period going across. That stands for the second, second energy level. And so what do we get? We get 2p, 1, 2, 3, 4, because it's the fourth one over. So it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p, 4. That's what oxygen is. Oh, that's very cool.